Hello and welcome. Today in this Roblox video, I'm back at it again with Epic Minigames. Well, these days within the media, you gotta be careful when voicing your opinions publicly. But bickering over people's tastes on Epic Minigame minigames can be a silly thing to commit. Anyways, Roblox Epic Minigames has so many minigames to play in, with over 117 at the time of recording, it of course took me time to narrow down my choices into a top 10 favorite list. All of them are definitely great, with the developer's dedication of developing and implementing them, with the fan base and contributors offering multiple maps for selected minigames to keep them refreshed. Of course, there are a few ones out there that are the bane of my existence. No matter how terrible the gameplay is, I don't think they should be removed entirely. Unless they're obviously broken, then I guess they could be taken out of the game temporarily until the fix has been resolved. Aside from the negative side of things, for the nasty minigames we may have hatred for, I've chosen 10 minigames ranking from 10 being the, war the lowest to number 1 being my ultimate favorite. These top 10 minigames have amazing gameplay mechanics, beautiful maps, and more that contributed to help me compare which minigame appeals to me the most. Alright, it's time to say my word of my top 10 favorite minigames in Roblox Epic Minigames, as of July 2022 of course. Number 10, Accurate Archery. Accurate Archery can be an annoying one for some, but once you learn a few tricks and can demonstrate fast reflexes, those targets can be yours to pin down with ease. What makes this minigame appeal to me is how it has a fun competitive taste to it with its unique tricks that can be unexpected to know about. For example, when looking for an area to hit targets at the most without others taking them before you, find a corner of your screen or an unoccupied area that, pe that people would tend to not click at. For example, close the players list on the top right of your screen. Congrats, you just freed more space on your screen. Not many people care to do things like that, or they're just lazy. The backgrounds for this minigame can give off a nice atmosphere to keep yourself loving this minigame. I wonder if anyone will make a map for this minigame that has a distracting background. Number 9, Battleship Skirmish. Coming up at number 9 is a war zone, literally. This minigame can be more fun with more people, making it feel like a total war experience to thrill yourself in. Two teams and warships battle it out with each other to knock down the entire opposing team. Controlling your warship is cool when adjusting your speed of accelerating and turning. You can even crash into your opponents. Now that's what I call a suicidal attack if you're low on health. I published a video a few years ago of a server larger than a large server playing this minigame, so I suggest checking it out to see how crazy it was. Number 8. Undead Aboard AKA, consider one of those minigames that you could just sit back and let the randoms do their thing of slaying, it's for some reason very funny to me once the players get overwhelmed with the undead as they start scrambling around for safety while I sit back watching the horror. Oh, how very pro of me. I just love how stupidly funny this minigame can be. The gameplay is great. You're on a ship in a thunderstorm as the undead latches on the ladders that you for some reason have on the sides of your ship, with your comrades slaying for victory. It gets oddly satisfying when you have a large group of undead just falling to pieces as the round concludes and the lag breaks in. Yes. Number 7. Bomber Block Bomber Block is a confusing one to most, especially first timers like me. But the more I played it, the more I really enjoyed it. It is a strategic minigame that requires you defeat all players with bombs. You break the brick walls with bombs, and as you blow them up, there's a chance for it to drop power-ups such as walk speed increase, an extra bomb, and amplifying your bomb damage. While playing, as the minigame reaches halfway, it gets pretty fast-paced as the border wall closes in to eliminate the AFK with you and your opponents closing into the middle to either battle out or end up blowing yourself up. I really wonder if there's a Mario game version of this. Number 6. Crag Clamber You press the buttons to make your way to the top. It's as simple as that. Yet very fun to me, 
The way you quickly press the buttons to make your way to the top first can give up a really competitive feel. I'm not into general competition by any means, but this one is at least fun to me. I would like to see several new fan-made maps being implemented into this minigame in the future. Even though Crag Clamber can be a mundane game when repeatedly played, it will never lose its charm of being competitively fun. Number 5. Drawing the Line Do you think you have good drawing precision skills? Well, it's time to put it to the test in drawing a line. Depending on your device, for me that's PC, I use my mouse to guide along the line as much as I can, you try to stay in the red line as much as possible. Your score is determined by percentages. I actually have never personally seen anyone in my server achieve a full on 100%. I think mobile users have the upper hand when playing this minigame. The fact that a lot of precision is required to win with seeing players screw up from the top and bottom makes drawing the line really fun to me. I tend to practice myself achieving a 99% goal because getting a full score on PC is near impossible. More unique maps can enhance its atmosphere too. Number 4. Missile Command This one is another buggy one to some people for some reason. Maybe it's because of your device or crappy internet, but anywho. In Missile Command, you drive in a spaceship or sorts, and travel yourself through obstacles and through holes. The PC controls can be a tiny tiny bit oversensitive, but regardless of that, it's overall a fantastic minigame. What makes this relieving is that you don't have to crash into others because why would that be a thing? Seriously though, imagine if that was enabled on a large server. Whenever I play Missile Command, it gives me Nintendo Star Fox vibes. Especially the Star Fox for the Nintendo 3DS. Ugh, so nostalgic. Number 3. Back Forth Dash. We are closing in on a top 3, and everything that's in a top 3 I would consider my favorite, but it took me time to promptly rank them so here we are. The reason why it didn't get a higher ranking than 3rd is because the highest score possible has already been leaked. Excluding that, Back 4 Dash is a really fun parkour game. As of recording, there are a crap ton of fan-made maps coming soon, which is really exciting to hear. I wish I could make a map for it too, but I have little to no experience with Roblox Studio, but anyways. As you progress back and forth to claim points, several events happen when the time progresses, such as platforms collapsing, platforms turning to lasers, a giant sweeper spawning in the middle, a freaking chopper blowing up players, a freaking tsunami, and more. It just makes it a thrilling experience for parkouring. Coming up at number 2 is Fleet of Facility. No, 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 not the Roblox game called Fleet of Facility, the mini game called Fleet of Facility. It goes like this. The facility is about to blow up, and you have 60 seconds or so to traverse your way out of the facility. There's jumping, climbing, falling, explosions, and more. It's a really intense parkour game, which appeals to me very much. The maps for this minigame are also great. It's another awesome parkour minigame to try yourself in at Epic Minigames. And I feel like I remembered buying this minigame 10 times in a row just for the fun of it. Alright folks, we have made it to my number one favorite minigame. But before we dive into that, here are some honorable mentions. Expedition Sprint Aztec Adventure Round Race Revolution Cube Number 1 Beep Block One of the newer minigames that has been implemented. I adored this game when Typical Type asked in his announcements channel in his Discord server of which minigames we would like to see in the game. I voted for it, and I can absolutely say my vote was 200% worth it. B-Block is so fun to me, I can't even properly explain it. You listen to this amazing beat as the block switch turns of which is safe to stand on or not. There's parkour, there's music, there's beautiful scenery in the background, and it requires near perfect timing. All of this in one minigame makes me love it so much. 
Not to mention it reminds me of the Super Mario levels that involve these beat blocks. I hope to see new fan made maps in the future. And that is it for my top 10 favorite minigames in Roblox Epic Minigames as of July 22. Man, I feel like I said the word minigames way too many times. If you'd like to for some reason see myself rank the top 10 worst minigames in Epic Minigames, make sure to subscribe. What are your favorite minigames? Comment down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!